What up folks, it's Alex here and I'm back again with another shadow input lag test. This time we're going to be looking at Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I put it to the test on my PC and my laptop. Now before we actually get to the demonstrations and the tests, there's some important information to cover, so let's roll that first. If you do want to skip it, skip forward about a minute. My PC is running Windows 10, a GTX 1066GB, Ryzen 5 1600X and 2x8GB DDR4 3000MHz RAM. My laptop is a 2017 Surface Pro, Kaby Lake i5 with 8GB of RAM and 128GB SSD. My keyboard is a Logitech G213. My mouse is a Gigabyte M6900. My monitor is an LG Ultrawide 29UC88. I'm on Virgin's 200 megabit broadband with a download speed of 217 megabit, and I get a latency of 28 milliseconds and a gesture of 4 milliseconds to the shadow servers. So my camera is an A6500 by Sony and we filmed at 120 frames per second. I mapped fire to the caps lock key so then we can view the footage back in slow motion and count the frames between the caps lock light coming on and the action appearing on screen. We know that each frame is 8.3 milliseconds long, so by timesing the number of frames by 8.3 we get the actual latency in milliseconds from input to display. Lastly, we use the GeForce Experience video capture running locally on my own machine to capture the footage from both my PC and Shadow. The top is Shadow running on my desktop PC, so the GTX 1060 is decoding the stream, while the bottom is running natively on my local PC. So they're both running at the medium preset, VSync is turned off and the refresh rate for the monitor and the desktops for both was set to 60 Hz. Frame rates between the two weren't that different. I don't know if you can see from here. They're both averaging around 200 to 250 frames, sometimes dropping to about 150 in busy indoor areas. You'll notice that my actual latency within Counter-Strike was better on my Shadow PC than it was on my local PC. My local PC was bouncing between 50 and 55, while the Shadow PC was about 20 to 25. So now let's have a look at the actual test results. The test was performed against bots in a local game, and it was only a small scale test as I tested three times for each device. First up is my local machine, which recorded 8 frames, 6 frames, and 6 frames. Next up is Shadow running on my PC, so it's using the GTX 1060, which recorded 18 frames. 18 frames and 16 frames and in the final test we used my surface pro with the i5 and the integrated gpu which recorded 12 14 and 13 frames i made sure to use the same monitor and the same keyboard to make sure it was fair so let's have a look at those results on a graph unsurprisingly the quickest is counter strike running natively on my own pc in second place is shadow running on my surface pro and then in third is shadow running on my pc if we average the results out and times by 8.3, we can get the actual millisecond response time. My local PC is 55.3, Shadow on my Surface Pro is 107.9, and Shadow on my PC is 143.8. Using my local PC as the baseline, running Shadow on my Surface adds 52.57 milliseconds, while running Shadow on my actual PC adds 88.53 milliseconds. Which means my Surface running an integrated GPU is 35.96 milliseconds faster than my PC running a dedicated GPU. Shadow themselves do advise running on an integrated GPU, and this would be why. Because I run a Ryzen CPU which doesn't have integrated graphics, I have to use my NVIDIA card. Hence the reason why I'm using my Surface to test instead. So how does that actually look? This is Counter-Strike running within Shadow on my local PC. There's a bandwidth cap of 30 megabits per second, and I set up two cameras, one on the mouse and one behind me, so you can see all of my inputs as well as the screen. Also, don't forget the screen capture is running locally on my own PC, so this should give you a pretty good idea of how it looks from the end user point of view. So the real question is, can you feel the difference? The answer is yes, but actually less than you might think. It's perfectly playable on my PC, even with that input lag. It doesn't feel laggy or disconnected per se, it's just not quite as sharp. It feels heavier and less twitchy, but it only takes a few rounds to readjust. On my Surface, it obviously feels better as the input lag is less. For casual online play, I didn't feel like I was massively disadvantaged due to using Shadow. However, I am only a casual player. If you play competitive FPS, obviously that's a different story altogether. Put it like this, if you're the type of person to overclock your mouse's polling rate, Shadow probably isn't for you. If you're a console player looking to dabble into PC gaming, you probably won't even notice the difference. 
the input lag of 107 milliseconds on my Surface is actually very similar, if not quicker, than some popular PlayStation 4 FPS games, such as Destiny 2 at 107 milliseconds and Killzone Shadowfall at 119 milliseconds. Your own enjoyment will depend on your previous experiences, whether you're into PC gaming, console gaming, etc., the games you like to play, and most importantly, your expectations. Also, don't forget if you're closer to the Shadow Data Center, then in theory you'll have less latency and an even better experience than I. And there we have it. Hopefully that gives you enough information to make an informed decision on whether Shadow is worth it or not for you. If you do decide to go for it, there is a referral code in the description below to get you £10 off your first month. Thanks for watching guys, if there's anything else you'd like to see, pop a comment below. If it was useful, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future. Cheers!